there and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna be showing you a sketchbook tour of the latest sketchbook I finished, which is this. This is a sketchbook that is quite thin. I picked it up in a trip on Bristol and I pick up a pack of three small sketchbooks to give it a try. This is the other one. I have I have nothing on it. It's blank yet. But yeah, I'm planning on using these small sketchbooks for a bit. So because they feel like they're slightly easier to finish as they have like uh, 20 pages or so and it is quite more manageable and carryable. I mean the size is good, fits everywhere and I thought of giving it a try for a bit. I started this sketchbook on August from last year 2018. This sketchbook is quite cool, the paper has a bit of texture and it holds watercolors. I started it in August and I finished it a few days ago. There was only a few days uh, left for this video and I saw that there was only like four pages left of it. So I thought, well, I'm definitely gonna try to finish it because if I don't put like pressure on myself, this has been almost finished for like a month or more, but I didn't really put on the time. And I have periods of time where I use it more and other periods where I use it a bit less. So let's start the tour. I'm already talking a little bit too much. So I already showed you the first page. This is um, a few drawings, a bit of a caricature, a few studies from hands and feet. And this was a study for a body. And I wanted to add watercolor somewhere, so I tried it here and it isn't the best medium for using watercolors, but it holds it quite well compared to other sketchbooks I had. I guess it's because it has a bit of a texture and so. This was a bit of a sketch for a bigger piece. Here I decided to do in the small squares a bit of a landscape studies because I really want to work more on that. This was a study um, of a body pose. I wanted to try on, I really liked it, and I wanted to add some watercolors. Here begins the Inktober phase. I think it was like in September, but I started a bit early with some sketches. And uh, here you can see this drawing I did, and as there was a lot of blank space, I started adding the prompts for Inktober um, because I was following a couple of lists. So I was following the original from Jake Parker and then a few others. So I list the here with, alongside with my ideas. So I could have like a track. And uh, so there's the full list with my prompts and then you will see small thumbnails that will most of the times will be photographed and transferred right into my computer so I can put it in the desirable size and trace it in the future paper. Um, as I, as in October, you don't have that much time. I did it directly. I mean, I only did one thumbnail. Uh, most of the times it will come out okay at the first try. And I will just go with it. This is a random doodle to fill up space. You will see some notes if I had a clear idea of what I wanted to do with the sketch. Some random doodles here again with things over here i think i was already on it i i believe i did like four or five thumbnails before starting and i think this two of them dracula and his brides um and this two and then here is like really quick sketches that i did fast so i could keep the ideas these ones were traced all of them into the the actual Inktober piece, in a bigger scale of course. Um, this is a quick doodle with markers to see how well it handled it and the same with inks. And actually it handles it quite better than others but as always it leads through as usual. Here you can see some more thumbnails, here's Claudia from Interview with the Vampire. I had like kind of an vampire Inktober theme because I was following a vampire list. Here's a evil countess, um, sample of blood and a star that's not very vampire -y. 
this is also for Inktober, I did this well, and this too. This was a st quick study for a pose. You probably c can barely see it because it's really small. It's here again, put it on, and yeah. Sometimes I didn't have time, so I just did some sort of something like this so I can have the proportions and then move it over to the thing. Also, I was designing a collection for class, so the theme was trees for me so I had like um, a few designs done in here because I could do it in class quickly as I carry carry it basically always with me I did this one physical and this one but in a shorter scale I didn't do much and they didn't turn out that, like as well as that but they did turn out okay there's some of the looks they ha actually had to be like 20 so there's a few left around and these were the last days of Inktober I think they're all here in little thumbnails because I was uh, running late for a few days I think I had to catch up and I did one day I kind of sit down and did a lot of thumbnails transfer all of them and catch up in a few days here are the last two these are quick doodles of cool figures I really like to vary my shapes and stuff sometimes this was for a draw, this is a new style, but I didn't like it, so I didn't end up doing it. And these ones I really like, especially this one. I really like the shape and how it turned out. More doodles. I don't sketch men most of the times, but sometimes when I just sit down and sketch faces, men faces come up. And especially with beards and things like a lot of wrinkles, I, I don't know, I just like it. Here I try to make a centaur woman. Uh, I still have to practice horse anatomy but that was a good first try <laughs> for my taste at least here wishing that mermaid will come faster but it was like December so yeah here I well that was a quick doodle for a draw this in your style I later redid digitally and here I started the 100 heads challenge. I have a blog post about it in my blog Confessions of an Art Addict that will be linked down below. But yeah, I started out with these pencil sketches. These are actually like the last ones. You can see 60, 62, 61. Because I, I had a lot, of, a lot of free space here and I thought I would fill it. But yeah, I started with pencil and they were really time consuming because you were supposed to do 100 heads in 10 days. I managed 8 the first day and 5 the second and so on because I was aiming for really realistic stuff then I moved into something a bit more fast and cartoony and finally when I got a style that I, would really, I was really comfortable with and I really liked like this one and the, the actual, uh, these heads are from this phase 2 I actually got, um, I was already a bit late and. Uh, I didn't manage to finish it. I didn't do any more. These are the last ones. I did some of them digitally. That's why there's not 65 or something. That was the number I got to at the end. Uh, there's not 65 in here. In here there will be like around 20, 30. But I really like this style. And if I had done, like, done it like this since the beginning, I would probably have reached the 100 much faster and well in time probably then here um i'm gonna cover this just because youtube is very special but um some doodles quick quick really uninteresting doodles um this is for my circus project i talked about before my coloring book then here there are a few man studies uh, all of them around 10 minutes because i really want to practice to do man a bit more um, they're like really fast and sketchy and I just want to capture the anatomy and the pose of it. Here are the last few spreads of the sketchbook and I really like them because I think I got a bit of out of my comfort zone adding stuff. I really like this woman with the acrylic paint and it's a bit shiny. You can see it reflects light and it shines. And here I added a bit of uh, more of acrylic to fill it up and I really like these little doodles here and this face and this little woman with a braid I really like it too 
I don't like this doodle so much, but I filled up the sketch and the space anyway. This spread I really enjoy too. I posted it the other day on Instagram and people really liked it too. And I think it's like really simple, a really quick doodle. And one of the things I wanted with this sketchbook was to do more sketchbook spreads, so full in the both pages, but I kind of forget or don't know what to do in such a bigger space. It's not that big, but you know. So yeah, I really like this one. Here's a bit of a um, concept sketch, really quick, a bit of a more detailed, and I, again, I will photograph it and transfer it later. This is for a gift. Um, I'm gonna do a couple of drawings with markers again. You can see here that it doesn't transpass as much. You can see a few phantoms here of ink, but it's not like a huge deal. I really like this one, and you can see how the faces have have kind of changed since the beginning of the Inktober phase and the sketchbook and it has changed quite a lot. I really like the spreads with a lot of ink filling the page in this kind of raw way. A few quick inky girls and plants and just random doodle of a so how I saw that it was really cool. And the last page is really fun. I've been I watched the Umbrella Academy a few weeks back or a month back in Netflix and I really liked it. I was really hoping to do some doodles. I especially liked Claus and number five and Claus, uh, I mean the actor Robert, I've seen him in Misfits too and I really like him. He has a lot of personality and puts a lot of character in his... I think he's a lot like himself in the characters he plays and that shows a lot and it works so well with him and I really like his, his struggles and his uh, character so I had to draw him and then I fill it up with number five that I really like with Dolores um, Alison and then Vanya because they were really cool too. I really like Diego not so much it was interesting his bloodline and so but I really preferred um, number one I can't remember his name right now but you know the big bulky man if you have seen it um, but yeah, I wanted to draw them the two, but I don't have the space. And I probably will kind of digitalize something like this and make a bigger piece or individual pieces for them because I really think it's fun and I like the show a lot. And that was the end of it a few days ago. I had a lot of fun with this one. They seem like small and really easy to fill, but at the end of the day, you have a lot of a lot of paper to fill too, so and they're really easy to carry along. So I've seen something similar in Amazon packs of three too, and they were for Moleskine, I believe, and they were really cheap too. So I probably will link that down below because I will probably buy those next time I need more sketchbooks. But right now I probably will start with this one, the next one. And I hope, I really, really hope I finish it before this year. My plan is to make at least more than one sketchbook a year, finish one a year or so. It can be harder than it seems. Well, that was all. I hope you enjoyed this little sketchbook tour. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my doodles, my quick sketches. I'm always looking for sketchbook uh, recommendations and inspirations. I also, I love the sketchbook, the small sketchbooks, but I really want to get a big A4 sketchbook, probably that can hold watercolors. I'm thinking about a Winston & Newton or something like that. It's a bigger investment, but I think it could be a good change to when I finish the ones I have at home, because I really have quite a few. But yeah, I love to hear your recommendations because I love to try new sketchbooks. So yeah, that was all. I hope you like it. New video will come out in a couple of weeks. Again, on Friday, hopefully, if everything goes well, because I have a lot of my plate lately. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye.